Alright, so uh, this is a bit of a uh, different uh, video. It's a, a nerdy uh, flight simulator scenery development uh, video. So lately I've been uh, trying to uh, get to grips with the new uh, LOD system in the Microsoft uh, Flight Sim 2024. And uh, it uh, has actually been around for uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 as well, but it uh, hasn't been the enforced, uh, so to say, uh, just as much uh, from the simulator side. So in a Microsoft uh, Flight Sim 2020, you were able to create just uh, one object and then uh, import it and uh, it worked uh, fine. But in uh, 2024 you need to uh, add the LODs because otherwise your object will uh, disappear uh, when you just uh, get a little bit uh, away from it. So today I have been, uh, or today I say, uh, for the couple of days I have been trying to get to grips with uh, this LOD system. And I watched the videos from uh, Federico Pinotti which is uh, great and I have been uh, reading up on the uh, SDK documentation and a lot of uh, trial and uh, errors. But uh, I feel now that a uh, workflow is uh, starting to appear, at least uh, for me. Maybe you have some other workflow that is uh, far better and uh, please comment down below if you got it. Alright, so uh, what I uh, did is that I uh, created my uh, first uh, object, the uh, Terminal uh, 01 LOD 0. Just uh, created it as I uh, would uh, just uh, normal. And then I took uh, this object and I merged all the different uh, objects into one, called it uh, Building LOD 1. And the reason why I merged it is that I added the um, decimate modifier to it with a value of uh, 0.45. So uh, what uh, that uh, does, it uh, takes the vertices counts and then uh, reduce it to uh, 0.45. And then I copied uh, this LOD1 into the next one, called it LOD2. And the build, building LOD2 with the same modifier, the decimate modifier, but uh, this time with a value of uh, 0 0.1. So as you can see, it uh, reduced the uh, quality of the text here to almost uh, not uh, readable. But uh, remember, this is only shown when uh, we get uh, a bit uh, far from it, and then you wouldn't be able to read it uh, anyway. But the reason why I keep it is that the text has a uh, emission value to it. So I wanted to keep that emission so it doesn't pop in when you get closer, but it uh, stays there all the time. And also I removed the uh, insets of, of the windows, so it's uh, just uh, plain windows without any frame. And I also removed the uh, texture. So in the uh, LOD uh, 0 and LOD 1, I have a uh, texture that I created in Substance Painter. But uh, when you get uh, out to LOD 2 and LOD 3, then you wouldn't be uh, able to see those textures anyway. So I just uh, made a uh, basic uh, standard uh, MSFS 2024 uh, material and added the uh, basic uh, color to it. And then for the last LOD, the LOD number 3, I actually just made a plain box with eight vertices that just uh, mimics the uh, other objects. And uh, once again, just a uh, plain color to it, or two colors, one for the walls and uh, one for the roof. And for the spotlight, I added one spotlight for uh, the uh, entrance here. And uh, remember, I 
to keep those spotlights in all your uh, LODs so that uh, like the text so that it uh, just doesn't just uh, pop in uh, suddenly. But what I did for the uh, last uh, object is that I uh, just moved it so it's uh, just uh, outside the wall. But for the uh, first uh, object it's uh, actually just insert a bit into the entrance as you can see here but if i didn't move it for the last one then it would be inside the object and uh, not visible so uh, i moved it just uh, just outside so as you can see here this is the lud number zero with the highest uh, quality and if you look at this uh, number this is the uh, value limit for LOD number zero. So when this number reaches this number, it will change over to LOD number one. So let's uh, zoom out a bit and look at this number. When it reaches uh, 15,000 there, it changes over to uh, the LOD number one. And looking at it again, when the value will reach 2828, it will uh, change over to the LOD2 uh, object. So there. And further out, it will change to the LOD3 uh, there. And that is uh, with the basic color and the, uh, it's a bit hard to see, and the spotlight uh, just outside. If I remove the uh, debug, it's a bit uh, easier to see. So uh, as you can see, just basic color and the spotlight. But from this uh, distance, you uh, wouldn't really notice it. And the object is uh, shown Let's uh, turn on the uh, LOD uh, debugger again. The object is shown to a really long distance there. So here it uh, pops in. And same when you get closer, the LODs will uh, change over. So when you get uh, close up to it, it's the uh, LOD number zero once again with uh, the uh, most quality. <laughs> All right, so uh, I hope that was a bit uh, understandable. But uh, as I said, if you have a workflow, you feel uh, work uh, better than this. So just uh, please uh, comment down below because uh, it is a bit of a uh, tedious work and it uh, takes a bit more uh, time than creating scenery for uh, Flight Sim uh, 2020. All right, see you later. Bye.